In the heart of 1970, Southern California, beneath the sun-drenched facade of palm trees and beachside dreams, a chilling darkness festered, hidden in plain sight. This was the era of disco balls and flower power, but amid the swirling colours of that tumultuous decade, a shadowy figure emerged, a man named Patrick Wayne Kearney. Patrick Kearney seemed like an ordinary man, a suburban neighbour leading a quiet life in Redondo Beach. With his unassuming demeanour and a job as an aerospace engineer, he melted into the landscape of sunny California, where dreams were made and sometimes nightmares were born. But behind the facade of this seemingly ordinary life lurked a monster of unparalleled cruelty. Kearney harboured an insatiable appetite for destruction and it was unleashed upon unsuspecting victims in the most gruesome and horrifying manner. Kearney's descent into madness began slowly, as a twisted exploration of his own desires. His predilection for young men soon escalated into something far more sinister. He became known as the Trash Bag Killer, a moniker that would forever etch his name into the annals of infamy. His modus operandi was as chilling as it was methodical, Kearney would cruise the streets at night, hunting for hitchhikers, the vulnerable souls who trusted a stranger's goodwill. He'd also frequent bars, picking up young men whose trust he would ultimately betray. These unfortunate victims would never see the morning light again. Once in Kearney's clutches, the horrors would begin. He would take his prey to his unassuming suburban home, where the facade of normalcy masked the horrors within. There, he subjected his victims to unimaginable sadism, forcing them to endure torture beyond human comprehension. And then, with a cold, merciless precision, he would extinguish their lives. But the true horror lay not just in his acts of cruelty, but in his chilling documentation of each murder. Kearney kept a grotesque scrapbook filled with photographs and detailed notes recounting the grotesque rituals he enacted on his victims. It was as if he relished the memories of his monstrous deeds, treasuring them as a sick and twisted keepsake. As the body count rose, so did the palpable fear that gripped the streets of Los Angeles. The city's aura of glamour and excess was overshadowed by the terror that the trash bag killer had unleashed. Fear spread like wildfire, and the notion that a monster was prowling the city's dark corners left the community paralyzed with dread. What made Kern even more chilling was his ability to blend seamlessly into society. He was a neighbor, a co-worker, and a friend, his double life concealed behind an innocuous exterior. This dual nature allowed him to operate with impunity for years evading law enforcement and perpetuating a reign of terror that seemed never-ending. But as the body count grew, so did the intensity of the investigation. Detectives, driven by a relentless pursuit of justice, unearthed a horrifying trove of human remains. Kearney had hidden them in his home and buried them in remote desert locations a macabre testament to his insatiable thirst for violence. In 1977, the reign of terror came to a close when Patrick Wayne Kearney was finally apprehended. He was convicted of multiple counts of murder and sentenced to life in prison. But the chilling legacy of the trash bag killer endures as a haunting reminder that evil can reside in the most unassuming places and that true horror often wears the mask of humanity.